Hello and welcome to my channel. This is En Route and today I am drinking mint green tea. So I want to discuss something that I think is important and that is diet. Diet is what makes you. Diet is who you are. Diet is, you know, the most vital thing. What you eat and what you don't eat so important and you know i wanted to discuss how in fact some people especially people from the vegan community are too narrow-minded in their thinking and are only looking at things from their perspective and not understanding that there are biological differences between different groups of people just as um, there are biological differences between different species of birds. And, you know, there are hybrids amongst those. And due to the genome that each individual has, will determine the diet that is best suited for them. Now, I worked in a, essentially a diet clinic where we taught patients how to correct their eating habits and change what they ate so that they can you know have a more healthier fulfilling energetic and more youthful experience and so when you think about people who just rely on um vegetables to do their thing you know they better be very good quality vegetables and, you know, the thing about it is that a lot of the times is we don't have a lot of actual vegetarians. We have a lot of fruitarians or carbitarians. And that can lead to some very unhealthy things because, you know, after your body goes for very long periods of time burning glucose, you know, that is actually not very good for you. It's not good for anybody to burn glucose for long periods of times because eventually it will cause your body to become insulin resistant, you know, if you go too far. So, <clears throat> with that being said, you know, we also have to consider your brother and your sister could have com two completely different genome displays. While related to you, they're displaying two different uh, gene pathways. So they may have a different uh, uh, diet that would be good for them. So within families, there can be even differentiating diets um, and things that are more beneficial for one person or the other. So, <clears throat> you know, I think people need to Stop looking at things so narrowly. Some people are better off on a more heavy, dense root vegetable and meat diet. And that's just the reality of it, you know? And those typically come from colder climates. That's, you know, if your lineage comes from a more colder climate, you would have to have relied on animal meat and fat to survive due to the fact there wasn't enough vegetation to actually survive on unless, you know, you're farming and you've saved and whatever, which you, of course, at the time would have, but yet you still need an important source of protein and fat, which would be from animal stuff. But let's say you live somewhere where avocados grow, then you know you may in fact be more easily acclimated to a full vegetative diet. So we have to consider where, what, most of our genome comes from and things like that so one moment i want every to everybody to consider these things so yeah one moment you know what honestly do i even have more to say i feel like that was a pretty good little package of information on you know how i think the vegans have gone too far you know obviously i don't think okay i haven't finished actually i also don't think the other side is healthy either you don't want to be so to the point where you know you're only eating protein because protein uh, especially if you're cooking it to a very 
If you're cooking your meat well done and you're not eating anything green, you're fucking up your whole body. Sorry, excuse my language, but you're really messing your body up because the vegetation, green things, green veggies, vegetables, they help break down a lot of that charry stuff that you're, you know, if you're not having your steak mid-rare, like, you know, you really need to rethink because you're burning all those enzymes that are actually in the meat and it's just kind of like, you know, you're really killing it. And, you know, you know, uh, that's why a lot of people when they have anemia, they say just go have a bloody steak or something like that because of the, the blood and the enzymes. It's very good rebuilding you, putting that, 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 that back, the iron back into you. So you, if you are, if you're eating your steaks well done on top of that, you need to be adding some green to your, um, green to your life so they can clean up some of the gunk that's going to leave behind because your body's not going to be able to do it on its own. So you need a balance, essentially. A balance is very important. And, you know, a lot of people don't really have balance. They try to, like, you know, mono eat. And, you know, that's what causes a lot of problems because you're not diversifying your minerals and vitamins. And you need, again, you do need a lot of colors. So try to get those colors in, you know? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks for watching.